Hello friends, this is Rupesh and watching CPPNAR's video series on C++ and in this video we will be looking into this union in C++. There is no difference between union in C and union in C++. Actually there are few rules when you create union and inside that you have some objects but this is a very basic video, I won't be covering all those things. So these are the nodes. Just like structures and classes, a union is a user defined data type. So classes and structures, user defined data types. So similarly, union is also a user defined data type. You will write union just like you used to write some classes and structures. But there is a very big difference that we'll talk now. So the second point is in union, all members share the biggest same memory location. This is the key point of union. So let's create a union. Then we'll talk about this one. The union creation goes like this. Union is a keyword. Then you give the name. So I'll just give my union and semicolon. And here you give the data members like integer x, short y and character c. So this is how you give in classes and structure also. But in union, you don't have any constructor, destructors, nothing. You just define data members. And that's it. So now let's talk about this one. So as I said, this unions, all members share the biggest same memory location. So you know this integer will take four byte, sort will take two byte and character will take one byte. So which is the biggest element? I mean, did I remember inside this? This one. So what will happen? Union will create only one memory like this. And let's make it four bytes. And this X, Y, C, all data members will point to this only. This is the key point of this union. What will happen? You will create union. Union will see which one is the biggest one and it will create one memory for that. Okay. So integer was four byte. So it created four byte and everyone is pointing to that byte. That's it. Now you might be thinking, what is this? I mean, what is the use of this one? So we'll see all those use cases. Wait for some time. So you understood how this will behave. Okay. So biggest element memory will be created and everyone will point to that. Okay. So now let's move to the next one. This is, this is used to achieve polymorphism in C. Yes. If you remember polymorphism, maybe you don't know what is polymorphism. Then let me tell you that polymorphism means similar name but different work okay so it will be like different different work or different different functions i can say but these functions will have similar name and that is called polymorphism and here also can you see there is only one memory and everyone is pointing to that memory only so this is how we achieve polymorphism in c so let's recap this quickly then we'll go for the use cases this is the keyword for making union and the name of the union then you type as many data members you want inside that and it will take the biggest data members size and it will make every different different data members to point to that memory only okay so this is what union does now let's see the use of this one so you might be able to understand this like if it is having so many members but still creating the biggest one only then the maximum size of this union would be the maximum data member size right so here if you will get the size of this one it will be four bytes if it would have been a class or structure it would have been like four to one and the structural padding will come so it will become eight byte not seven if you don't know what is structural padding, I have a video for that. But that's not the point. The point is union will be four byte only. No matter how many data members you have, it will take only the biggest size. So you can see here you are saving so much of size here. So that's the first point. When we need only one value out of many, that time we will use it. It means there is a situation like 
you have to create so many data members but at a time you will be using only one okay so no need to create different different data members like when you create classes and structures you have different different sizes but that is wastage of memory because only one is needed at a time this is the example here what is happening is i have created a union square and given two integer width and height so you might be knowing what is square square means like this the height and the width will be equal a square okay so i have created a square class so if width and height both are equal then why we need to take two different data members so that's why i have achieved this using only this width so either you set only width or the height so this is square so as i said it will be choosing the highest one so both are equal so it will take four byte memory and width and height both will be pointing to that memory only now let's create the object of this union so sqr is the object and i am setting width is equal to 10 so ultimately i am setting height also now what i am doing i am getting this get area so the area of square is width into height so i am sending square dot width and the height but here i have not set the height but as i said height is also pointing to this 10 only so it will go and get multiplied 10 into 10 will get 100 here so let's compile this see we got 100 so this is a perfect code i couldn't find a better example for this but i think i made the point the point is when you don't need several data members but it is quite logical to have those members because if you are making square then you cannot have only width right or only height you must have both but here the situation is what the value of width will be that is equal to the height so no need to take two data members it will make your size bigger so these kind of situations are handled using union this was the first example i'll show you the second example also that is a very nice example actually there are so many examples if you'll google it you will get it but my job is just to convey the message so here what we are doing is we are having this four bytes and as usual this is 0 1 2 and 3 actually it depends how your memory is reading the addresses in my system it is reading from here okay so if you are initializing 2 it will go here so as this is 8 byte sorry 8 bit location it will be like i will write it here 0000001 and 0 so 2 is this one in the binary okay so this is going to this one and the rest of the values are still zero so everything is 0000 inside this okay now let's suppose the requirement is you just want to read the first byte of your value then this is a very handy way of using that okay what you can do you can just simply read the byte number 0 and we have to type classes into integer otherwise it will show you the character at second ascii okay so wait a minute let me just type cast that so let's compile this one see it is giving you exact thing what we were looking for zeroth location is having two rest of the values are zero so this is what we saw here okay so you have this integer value and you want to access it byte by byte not full so as you know that character is a one byte so if you will read this bytes zeroth location it will read only one byte now it depends what location you want to set i mean get okay so this is also a very good use of union okay so just keep your main data and create that much big character array and you will happily use this okay so let's just change something if you will make this 257 so you must be getting this one as 1 and this one as 1 okay so let's check that if i'll compile this see you are getting 1 and 1 so 
256 means there are 8 bits here and the last bit is 1 here and this is 0 and there are 8 bits here so there are 7 zeros 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 and 1 so this is your 257 but as we are reading only byte by byte so this is only 1 okay and this is also 1 that's why we got 1 and 1 so it's great fun right you don't have to go and fetch bytes explicitly you can use this technique and it will work really great these kind of techniques are not so common people use these kind of things in embedded because there you will have so much of problem in memory side you will be having very less memory and you have to work with it okay so they keep track of memory so much so that's why if you are an embedded developer or you want to become an embedded developer you should be mastering this union or you can expect this union question in embedded interviews a lot so i think we are done here thanks for watching and if you did like the video don't forget to hit the like button and make sure you subscribe to my channel so that whenever i will create a new video you will get the notification for that okay so thanks for watching bye bye